Ever wondered why German sounds so distinct and unique? Welcome to the fascinating world of German phonetics, a realm where vowels, consonants, and diphthongs dance together in a symphony of sounds. Understanding and mastering these elements is the key to perfecting your German pronunciation. Imagine being able to converse with native speakers, your words flowing naturally, your accent almost undetectable. Sounds exciting, right? Well, you're in the right place. So let's not wait any longer. Dive in to unlock the secrets of German pronunciation. Begin the journey with German vowels, the building blocks of pronunciation. Picture, if you will, five reliable friends that you'll come to know in your German language journey. These are the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. Let's start with A. In German, it's pronounced somewhat like the A in father. Practice it with me. A as in apple, which is the German word for apple. Next up is E, pronounced like the E in bed. Try saying bet, which means bed in German. Moving on to I, it's similar to the E in C. Try it out with the word insel, meaning island. Then we have O, pronounced like the O in open. Practice it with oper, the German word for opera. And lastly, U, which sounds like the U in moon. Try saying ur, which translates to clock in German. But wait, there's more. German also has special characters known as umlauts, A, O, and U. These aren't just fancy vowels, but they have their distinct sounds. A is pronounced like the A in air. Use it in apfel, the plural of apfel. O sounds like the I in girl. Try saying ol, which means oil. And finally, U, which doesn't have a direct English equivalent, but it's a bit like the U in look, but with rounded lips. Practice it with uber, a common German word meaning over. Remember, these sounds might not come naturally at first, but that's okay. The key is to keep practicing. Listen to the sounds, mimic them, and before you know it, you'll be pronouncing German vowels like a pro. Now that you've got a handle on vowels, it's time to tackle the consonants. Moving on to the German consonants, the backbone of the language. In the German language, Consonants are the sturdy pillars that hold the structure of words together. They provide solidity and rhythm, setting the pace for the melody of speech. Let's dive into the key consonants first. The B, D, F, G, H, J, A, K, and so forth are pronounced much like in English, with a few notable exceptions. For instance, the German J sounds like the English Y as in yes, so ja in German is not pronounced as ja, but rather as ja. The H is a breathy consonant, slightly more pronounced than in English, and the G at the end of a word takes on a K sound, like tag, pronounced as talk. Now let's venture into the realm of special consonants. The H is a unique sound, not found in English. It's a soft back of the throat friction, like the H in huge. And then we have the SH, which sounds like SHE in sheep. The combination of SP and ST at the beginning of a word or syllable is also quite unique. They are pronounced as p and sheet, respectively. So, spiel is pronounced as spiel and stat as stat. Remember, German is a phonetic language, meaning it's pronounced as it's written. This is a blessing for language learners as it adds a level of predictability. However, it also means you need to pay extra attention to the spelling. In the end, it all comes down to practice and repetition. Listen to the sounds, mimic them, and then incorporate them into your speech. It's a process, but a rewarding one, as you'll soon find yourself speaking with an authentic German accent. With the consonants under your belt, let's explore the intriguing world of diphthongs. The journey of German pronunciation is full of fascinating twists and turns. So, buckle up and let's continue the adventure. Diphthongs are the next stop on this pronunciation adventure. Diphthongs are unique combinations of two vowel sounds within the same syllable. In German, they create a fascinating shift in tone and texture of words, adding a special rhythm to the language. When you come across diphthongs, remember that they're not just two separate vowels, but a pair working together to create a distinctive sound. Let's dive into some examples. First up, we have AI, like in the word Kaiser, which sounds like the English I. Similarly, ow, as in house, has a sound that's close to the English ow in house. Next, we have I that sounds like the English I again, but is found in words like main. It's interesting to note that I and I in German produce the same sound, 
even though they're written differently. Moving on, you and ow are two diphthongs that share the same pronunciation. They sound like the English oi in boy. You'll find them in German words like Feuer and Hauser. It's important to remember, in German, the spelling of a diphthong doesn't always match the sound it makes. This can be a little tricky, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. Now let's try a few more examples together. Listen and repeat after me. Reise, Haus, Freud, Maus. Good job! Keep practicing and these sounds will start to feel more natural. To recap, diphthongs in German are combinations of two vowel sounds within the same syllable. They are I, ow, I, you, and ow. They add a unique rhythm to the language and are essential to mastering German pronunciation. That's it for diphthongs. Remember, they may seem a little complicated at first, but with practice, they'll become second nature. Keep up the good work, and before you know it, you'll be sounding like a native German speaker. With diphthongs demystified, you're well on your way to mastering German pronunciation. Now put your new knowledge to the test. Let's dive into some practice exercises that will combine vowels, consonants, and diphthongs. Don't worry, we'll start with simple German words and gradually move on to sentences. First, let's practice with vowels. Try saying the word bitte, which means please. Notice how the vowel I sounds like E in English, and the vowel E at the end is pronounced like uh. Repeat the word a few times, bitty. Moving on to consonants. Let's take the word gut, meaning good. The G is pronounced like G in good, and T is pronounced like T in top. So it's gut. Repeat this word a couple of times. Next, let's tackle diphthongs. Try saying house, which translates to house. The ow is a diphthong and pronounced like ow in how, so it's house. Repeat it a few times to get the hang of it. Now, let's combine vowels, consonants, and diphthongs in a sentence. Try saying ich habe ein Haus. This means I have a house. Break it down if you need to. Ich has the seech sound, habe has the open a and e sounds, ein is a nasal sound, and we've already practiced house. Don't worry if you're struggling, it's okay to stumble. Remember, the goal here is improvement, not perfection. Now let's push the envelope a bit. Try saying, die Schokolade ist sehr lecker. This sentence means, the chocolate is very tasty. This sentence has a mix of vowels, consonants, and even a diphthong. Take your time. Repeat each word and sentence as many times as you need to. Feel the shapes your mouth makes as you pronounce each sound. Listen to the way the words flow together. Remember, practice is key. Keep repeating these exercises to perfect your pronunciation. It's like learning to play a musical instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. So, keep at it. You're doing great. And with each passing day, you're getting closer to mastering German pronunciation. You've made it to the end of this pronunciation journey. What an exploration it's been! We've traversed the vast landscape of German pronunciation, from vowels to consonants, and not forgetting the intriguing diphthongs. Remember, vowels are the lifeblood of any language and German is no exception. The long and short vowels, each with their unique sounds, serve as the foundation for the language. We've learned how the simple shift from a short E to a long E can completely change the meaning of a word. Then we moved on to the consonants, those sturdy pillars that hold up the structure of the language. We discovered how to roll the R, how to soften the S, and how even the harshest sounding consonants can be tamed with the right technique. And who could forget our adventurous dive into the world of diphthongs, those fascinating combinations of vowels that create entirely new sounds. We've learned to navigate their unpredictable waters and come out the other side with a deeper understanding of the language. But remember, the real key to mastering German pronunciation lies in practice. It's about repeating the sounds until they become second nature, until you no longer have to think about how to pronounce U or Cheech. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be pronouncing German words like a native. Don't forget to subscribe for more language learning adventures.